Hey guys, it's Sean here and today I'm here to give you guys my first Converse sneaker review video. A couple days back, Converse Canada reached out to me and let me know that they're going to be sending me a pair of shoes my way. So I got the package yesterday and inside that package were these. So this is the topic of today's video. So these are the Converse Chuck Taylor All-Star Modern Lux in the white colorway. The official name for this shoe is Chuck Taylor All-Star Modern High and the official colorway for this shoe is white, black, and white. They retail for a price of 140 US dollars or 160 here in Canada. In the States, both this color as well as the all black colorway, they are both available right now on Nike.com. As for Canada, these are set for a release date of February 27th and they're going to be available at select boutique stores located across the country such as Livestock here in Toronto, Essence in Montreal, as well as Less 17 in Calgary. So this shoe is part of Converse's Chuck Modern collection and what it's doing is it's taking this classic silhouette but infusing elements that really make it more modern and more technologically advanced. So in the case of this one, this is their most premium offering of all the different designs in the collection. So first off, let's take a look at the box. So as you can see, it's a pretty simple standard white cardboard box. It has the Converse star logo on the top along with Converse logos on the front and the back of the lid. And then right here is the shoe label as well, also done in white. So here's a look at the shoe. So as you can tell, this entire shoe is basically 99% done in white. So the leather on this shoe is done in this molded leather and if you have the chance to ever get your hands on these, you can tell by the touch that this leather is very very soft. And just by looking at it from afar, you can see there's these natural grain lines that really show just how soft and how high quality this leather is. The medial side of the shoe is identical to the lateral side except it has the famous Converse All-Star patch that's embossed directly into the leather. The collar area of the shoe slants upwards towards the back of the heel. The toe box on this shoe is still done in this leather material, but the cool thing about this is that they are still able to retain the look of this toe cap that was found on the original Chuck Taylor All-Stars. The laces on these shoes are a round leather lace, also done in white. The tongue on these shoes are done in the same white leather material, and flipping it over to the back, we have this Converse Modern branding that's fused onto the back of the tongue. These shoes do come with this removable insole in black, and it features this Converse branding on the heel, and while I don't think this is Lunar Lawn, this is still a very, very thick insole. And as you can see, there's a lot of padding, especially in the heel. So this really makes this shoe a lot more comfortable, especially when you compare it to the classic Chuck Taylor models. One thing I really like about this shoe is how minimalistic the design of this shoe is. So as you can tell, on a typical shoe, you'd have stitch lines that are running up and down the sides of the shoe, along the toe box, and around the midsole, but for this shoe, there's basically no visible stitching around the sides of the shoe, along the midsole, and there's only a little bit of stitching that's found along the toe box right here, on both sides, as well as this thick stitch that's found running up and down the back of the shoe. These shoes sits atop this Phylon foam midsole that makes this a very, very lightweight version, especially when you compare it to the rubber version that was found on the classic Chuck Taylors. This Phylon foam is done in white all around the shoe, and on the toe box area, there are these triangular indentations found around the toe of the midsole. And on the back, there is the Converse All-Star label done in black. From a sizing standpoint, these are a half size big. So my true size is a 10.5, which I wear in shoes such as Air Max 1, Air Max 90, my Roshis, or my Flynet Racers. These ones are size 10, and my classic Chuck Taylor size is a 9.5. These do run a little bit narrow and long though, so if you do have wide feet, then these probably aren't the best shoes for you. From a comfort standpoint, these are actually very comfortable. So when I held them in hand, I was actually very surprised at how lightweight they were. And because of this Phylon foam midsole, this soft leather upper, and that thick insole that's provided, a combination of all three factors really makes this very, very comfortable on feet. In fact, I actually find them to be more comfortable than the Chuck Taylor 2 that featured that Lunar Lawn insole. Now let me show you guys how these Chuck Taylor All-Star Modern Luxes look on feet.
So that wraps up my review of the Chuck Taylor All-Star Modern Luxe in the white colorway. Be sure to leave a comment down below to let me know what you guys think of this shoe. Are you guys a fan of this minimalistic but high quality take on the Chuck Taylor? Or do you guys prefer the classic version over these? Be sure to give me a follow on Instagram at SGO8. And last but not least, just wanted to give another thank you to Converse for sending these over my way. Until next time, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in my next review.